Hi, my name is Bani Ali Khani. I am Dean and Professor at Citor Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of Citor Channel. The topic of today's discussion is a new innovation called Citor Plate. TAT or temporary anchorage devices are a great tool in orthodontics, but they suffer from two shortcomings. One is stability, second is accessibility or practicality. What that means? Well, many times we like to place the TAD in a certain area that has a mechanical advantage for us. However, the bone in the area cannot hold on TAD. TAD become loose. So we get frustrated. We don't use the TAD in those areas. Uh, on the other hand, sometimes we place the TAD in the bone that is very good quality and the TAD is very stable. But it seems that that specific place does not add that much to our mechanical design. It's too far. We really cannot take advantage of it. Therefore, again, we become frustrated and we stop to using the TADs. To overcome this uh, shortcoming, Citor Academy, in collaboration with the German company PSM, have designed a new tools called Citor Plate. Citor Plate are like a surgical plates that we use in orthopedic surgery or orthogonatic surgery, but it can be installed without any surgery. And the purpose of these plates is first, increase the stability of the TADs by allowing us to put the TAD in any place that the bone is good quality and to overcome the shortcoming of the practicality and accessibility, the arms of external plates can be extended in any location for changing the point of application to any place that we desire. So with this plate, we really can address the shortcoming of conventional TADs. Let's look at the design together. Citor plates are installed by a specifically designed TAD for them. These TADs are installed like a conventional TAD. So you can use the same tool to install conventional TADs or these TADs. They have a platform where the plates is being supported and they have a cap that tighten the citral plates to these TADs. The citral plates has been designed so it applies two TADs. The reason for application of two TADs to increase the contact between the cortical bone and the TAD without really increasing a stress on the bone. If you are using a TAD that is thicker, of course you can increase the cortical bone contact, but then the amount of the stress, we call it torque, will be so much that actually you may damage the bone. Uh, remember to increase the stability of the TAD. The thickness is more important than the length because the stability of the TAD comes from the cortical bone and cortical bone is mostly few millimeters is not that long. So increasing the length does not really allow us to take advantage of cortical bone. When you are installing the external plates on the TAD, you will see the external plate stays away from the tissue about one millimeter at least. That will allow us to not irritate the tissue and also doesn't allow the soft tissue to overgrow and cause discomfort for the patient. To be able to place two TAD without being nervous about how precise I need to be, this external plate has been designed that gives the clinician a leeway. You can have about six to nine millimeters leeway placing the TAD in the place that you feel comfortable and not being worried that, oh, the external plate is not gonna sit on. It's actually external plate, it can easily sit on the TADs. You don't need to be that precise. And as soon as you put it, you put the caps on and is ready to be used. And any times that you decided that you do not, you wanted to change the design, you wanted to add or you wanted to decrease from the external plates, you just unscrew without doing any anesthetic because you don't even touch the tissue of the patient. You unscrew, change it, and you do modification that you want, adaptation that you want, and you insert it back. So that makes it very modifiable. You, you can go through the orthodontics treatment based, based on your stage. You can change your external plate because external plates come in a different uh, design or you can modify it any times that you want. And it is not like surgical plates that if you want to modify, you need to do a surgery to remove it, modify it and put it back and that's not practical. Let's look at the different design of external plate that exist. First one that is very common is an eye plate, eye plate or intrusion plates. You install it in the palate, you extend it to the teeth that you want to intrude and is ready to use for the intrusion of posterior teeth. This is the example of uh, intrusion arch that has been installed for the intrusion of the six and seven in both sides or first and second molar in both sides. 
very easy and convenient the patients do not have any side effect this is an example of the patients that intrusion uh, plates were used and as you can see in the reasonable time we were able to address the problem of this patient uh, without doing orthogenetic surgery it's really great tools to extend a spectrum of the treatment that we provide for our patients Another common plate is the M plate. This is a great tool, especially for the patients that uh, we need to close the space by moving the teeth mesially. We know that this procedure is time consuming and uh, majority of the patient, especially adults, they don't like to expose the front teeth for a long time to braces or any treatment. Uh, having a sectional setup in the back using this plate, patient doesn't need braces in the front because you're not using the front teeth as an anchorage and gradually you move the posterior teeth forward. This is an example of this plate inside the mouth. These plates are modifiable. You can adopt it based on the shape of the patient's mouth. So you can make it very comfortable for the patient. And this is an example of the patients that was using this plate for closure of the space. And gradually the posterior teeth move forward. And then toward the end of the treatment, uh, whether you are using a liner or braces, you can address the rest of the problem by movement of anterior teeth. Or you can use the same plates for retraction of the anterior teeth if you need. This is another common place called D plate for distalization. We know that how distalization can be frustrating in the orthodontics treatment and how many appliances we need to do and how much of them are bulky and difficult to do. This is a very simple appliance you install it inside the mouth for bilateral or unilateral distalization of the teeth. You don't need braces on the front. You can do even one tooth at a time. For example, in this patient, uh, you are retracting one tooth at a time until you reach to the point that you are comfortable to put the rest of the braces or change the patients to aligners. It's actually these tools allow those limitation of aligners to be addressed a little bit more because you can provide wider spectrum of treatment with these plates without really depending on aligners or braces. This is an example of the patients that needed addressing the overjet and overbite by distalizing the upper posterior segments. And we use this tool and as you can see, in a reasonable amount of time, we were able to address the overjet and overbite without doing uh, additional extraction or surgery. Another type of their plates is anterior plates. One of the things that decrease the stability of the TAD significantly is application of the moments on the TAD. Uh, moments, especially if they unscrew the TAD, really can uh, cause the TAD to be unstable. Uh, therefore, it's not very common that we design one couple system from the TADs. But one couple system is very useful in orthodontics. We talk about it in the mechanotherapy sessions, how one couple system can, can be used in different scenarios. So how we can design a plate that we can use one couple system without, uh, without really causing the task to become unstable. We decided to design a plate that has a tube. So you can use one couple system from these tubes. This uh, one couple system appears as a couple inside this tube. Uh, couples are two opposite forces. So each one of the TAD is actually receive a unidirectional force that does not decrease its stability. So the TADs, they don't receive directly a moment, but the plate itself receive a moment. And that's the reason it can be used as a one couple system. They're coming in a different type. You can use it in a buccal area. You can use it from the lingual area. As you can see here, this plate can be used for the intrusion or this can be used for the extrusion, especially for addressing the, the open bite cases or the severe deep bite cases. You can use it from the palatal side if the especially patient doesn't want to have anything on the anterior teeth. Uh, this is an example of an open bite that was addressed using these plates. The posterior occlusion was not significantly bad. Therefore, uh, we decided to address the open bite as much as possible using this system and at the end you will treat the rest of the patient as i said with the braces or aligners now the majority of the difficulty has been taken away so uh, the rest of the treatment can be simple braces or aligners another problem that cause a decrease in the stability of the tad is application of high forces and we need high forces when we are doing orthopedic treatment so how we can do that we know that bone can tolerate around 150 megapascal we really cannot apply high magnitude of the forces to the single tad the fact that we have two TADs and these two TAD has been strengthened by the plate that connected to them allow us to use higher magnitude of forces. Therefore, we designed a specific plate that's called E-plate uh, that you can apply the elastics only on them and apply it in the treatment of class three patient, class two patient, any places that you like to have orthopedic forces and you don't like to apply it on the dentition because you worry that the dentition may procline, may retrocline. You can use this system and you apply your orthopedic forces 
uh, directly to this plate by the way you can use those forces in all of the plates that you have but if you don't have any other usage and you just want it for the elastic you can use this type of plates in this case as we explained these elastics can be used for heavy forces you can use it in combination with the face mask for example in this patient it was used with a combination of the face mask for treatment of class 3 patient and you achieve a reasonable result without doing any orthogonatic surgery so in general the c plates is another tools from uh, our, all the tools that we have in orthodontics to make it easier for patient and easier for clinician to apply proper mechanotherapy without sacrificing the stability or without sacrificing the practicality. There is a link provided here. Just go to the innovation journals through that link and you can read about the articles and all the advantages and all the discussions that I have here in much more depth. You can find it there. I hope you enjoyed this session of Citor channel and uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to press the like button. Thank you so much.